Hi, I'm Margot and I just wanted to give you a little um, personal opinion on the Christophe Robin Cleansing Mask with Lemon. Um, now, this is just a sample pot, but it comes in like just a bigger pot if you were to purchase it. Um, the reason that I've decided to do a little opinion video is because, well, first of all, I find it really hard to find any information, like any opinions, on the Christophe Robin products. Um, may it be on YouTube or even just on the internet in general. I think they're amazing products for the hair, like really good quality and they really, um, they really do good to the hair. Um, now, they are kind of hard to get by. I buy them from my salon because it's a Christophe Robin associated salon. But you can purchase the products um, on his website. Uh, Christophe Robin, just google it and you'll find. Um, now one thing is the products are quite expensive and the other one is um, once you've bought the products the shipping costs are through the roof so if you were to buy from him I would probably recommend um, buying a ton of products just so that you ship in bulk because it costs the same may you want to ship one product or ten so you know you might as well go for a big order now um, I washed my hair last night with this uh, cleansing mask with lemon and I the first time I used it this was the second time I would used it the first time I used it I hated it but I think it's because I had the wrong technique now it comes in a sort of balm like consistency and um, it smells really lemony, it's lovely. And now this is a cleansing care for coloured, highlighted or sensitive hair. Now I have coloured hair, so, well highlighted hair, so um, this is the kind of thing that I aim for. Um, I like to use shampoos that are specifically um, for, created for highlighted hair or coloured hair. Just because my hair is more sensitive and also I don't want the pigments to... Um, go anywhere. Um, now, this cleansing mask with lemon slightly exfoliates your scalp, it cleans softly, hair is nourished, the colour remains bright. Um, the reason that I hated this the first time is because the application can be a little tricky. In the shower, you are going to take some of the product and put it on your roots everywhere and then try to massage it down to your hair. Um, your ends. Now, um, I think the first time I didn't use enough product and I didn't rinse well enough or something went wrong along the line but it did not work whatsoever. It was awful, it stayed in my hair, it had a terrible um, feel. I hated it. Uh, now, the second time that I used it, I used a bit more product and I was a bit more thorough in my massaging it into the roots and really trying to get it down the hair shaft. Um, I let it sit for about 10 minutes. It says that you can leave it to sit for 5 to 20 minutes, up to you. And then you add a little bit of water as you go and you try to lather it. Um, having said that, because it's SLS free, you will not get uh, much of a foam. <laughs> um, so don't expect foaming heaven because you will not get that. I just added a bit more, more water, a bit more water and then try, well frictioned it everywhere really good and then rinsed it. Um, rinse thoroughly is my advice. Um, you really 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 need to rinse it very well to make sure that all the product is gone. Then I just use conditioner as normal and there you go. Um, the result is my hair is incredibly soft. I mean, I use conditioner anyways, but it's softer than when I've used other shampoos. Um, it looks really good. The colour looks amazing. I don't know if the camera can really pick it up, but um, it just... It's really nice. Um, I The only thing is, it's quite expensive. It's a little tricky to use, so considering how expensive it is, expensive it is, um, if you don't have the right technique, 
you might end up being disappointed by the product. I know that my mum hates this product just because she can't get a hang of it whatsoever. I'm really happy that I have, just because I've received so many samples of this, that I kept on thinking, I don't want this to go to waste, I really want to use it on my hair. Um, now, so it is quite pricey, um, but it will last you a long time, I think, just because you don't need that much product. It's a, personally, it's the kind of cleanser that I would not use every time I shampoo my hair, just because it does take a long time and it's a bit of a fuss and you know it's a mask so you have to let it sit on your hair and all that so um, I'd probably use it about once every three to four shampoos um, but it really it smells amazing it feels really luxurious on the hair and I love the fact that it's paraben silicone SLS and colorant free um, so yeah I um I hope this helps you. I honestly think that this is a pretty great product. Um it's very different from other shampoos and cleansers for the hair. Um I think that Catherine Deneuve uses it. Um I know that Christophe Aubin does like a lot of celebrity hair and so on the website it says like what products are used by what celebrity. Um so, you know, <laughs> they usually have pretty damn good hair. Um, so I hope this helps you a bit. I I really honestly think that the Christophe Robin products, hair products, are really worth it. From, I've used quite a bit of them. I've tried, like, a few of them, and I all, and I think all of them are worth it. Um, so if you do have the opportunity, for example, if you live in France, um, you probably will have the opportunity to go, if you live near Paris, to go to his salon and actually experience it. Or even, I think, if you live in France, um, after a certain amount of products that you've ordered, you get the shipping for free. Um, if you live in Belgium, um, there is a salon in Brussels. Um, and so you could probably um, try it there. And then if you live elsewhere well either go on the website or you can probably you know find out if you have a salon that actually carries those products i'm hoping that they will become more popular and that eventually they will be distributed by um big uh companies i'd love to see selfridges in england carry these products just because they're so good or even harrods just anything that costs a little less to ship <laughs> um so I really hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.